Hey guys, this is James Blonde. SOE Live, as you can probably imagine, had a lot of hype about Planetside 2, and I don't blame them. I did, however, get a chance to talk to Adam Clegg, associate game designer, about what's coming to Planetside 2. Well, we just launched Esmir, which is one of our uh, ice continents. Um, tons of snow, tons of trench warfare. Uh, we're also working on another continent called Amorish, which is more of like a Scottish Highlands. Um, all three of our continents play very differently. So if you're in the beta, you'll see that on Esmir, it's more spread out. Um, and we're trying to do the same thing for Amorish. We're trying to make it play a little bit different than Esmir, a little bit different than Indar. Yeah, we're updating the game constantly every week with new, sometimes weapons, new certs, new abilities, changing abilities tweaking things um, it's constantly changing and we're constantly adding things um, so if you're in the beta you can see that uh, every week you're excited to see what kind of new certifications we've added or things that we've changed now the planet side 2 beta is huge so I asked Adam what the player feedback provides them. like for example changing the location of the warp gates we are constantly looking at feedback and we get a ton of feedback from the players um, and I think what that is, is we, we actually switched Warp Gates empires. Um, sometimes TR was in the north on when we only had one continent on Indar, and then we moved them to the, to the east, southeast, or the southwest. Um, we're also going to be looking at different Warp Gate changes as we get more continents. Um, kind of like defined home continents and just other metagame uh, changes as we get more continents in. Um, when we only had one continent, you know, we would just switch the empires and circles around the Warp Gate. Um, but things like that. And uh, trying to uh, make sure that when people get pushed back to their warp gate, they can actually push out a little easier by putting, putting uh, turrets around and making it, you know, a little easier to push out. Um, but those are kind of the warp gate stuff that we've been dealing with right now. Now I was wondering what they were planning on doing with the metagame to try to keep players new and old in the game for a long time, just like they did with the original planet side. Meta game in a game of this size is very complicated. You're dealing with a lot of new players that are just exposed to the content and they're just trying to figure the game out. And then you're dealing with players that are veterans from the first plan side that are over the allure of the big fight already. They just want to know what they need to do to get you know their satisfaction. And so we're trying to get elements in there for everybody. And some of the overarching metagame elements that we're working on right now are for the people that want to play the game for years and years to come. Since, you know, that's the point of our game is we want it to be a persistent world that you log into for years. Um, so we're working on a lot of things like that. Ice machines. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so those are the kind of persistent element or metagame elements that we've been working on. And uh, those are the things that are coming into beta really soon. So with all of this tweaking of the beta, uh, is there anything secret that you're, you're, you're leaving for launch, or is it just going to kind of flow into it? Well, we're trying to get a game ready to be shipped mm -hmm. in a state that we feel is very enjoyable for everybody playing the game, uh, for everybody who comes in as a new player. Uh, when the game comes out, it's not just like it, it's not just launched. You know, it, it's constantly changing. So even though the game comes out, we always have new vehicles, new weapons, new continents, just like in the MMO. Except this MMO is a first-person shooter that's 100% player versus player. Um, so right now we're just basically trying to get our core systems down, our, our metagame down, and uh, our balance down to make sure that when the game comes out, you feel like you have a great experience. Now with all the videos being made over Planetside 2, I was curious how the team handled griefing. Well, griefing is a very real thing, uh, especially in MMOs, especially in per player versus player. Any PvP game you play, you're going to have griefers. So we're watching those kinds of things very closely. And part of video upload with YouTube and with Twitch streaming helps us with that. As soon as somebody is griefing, somebody starts recording it, or they're the ones recording it, and we see it, and we take it very seriously, and we try to make changes to make sure that there isn't a lot of griefing. We want players to have a lot of fun in a PvP competitive environment and not have to worry about the guy who's standing behind them who's supposed to be on their team. Well, I think that's all I have for you right now, but I uh, appreciate your time. Yeah, thank good you. Good luck. Thanks a lot.